Ranking along with No and Kabuki as one of Japan's foremost traditional stage arts, the Ningiyo Jorori Bunraku Puppet Theatre is a blend of sung narrative, instrumental accompaniment, and puppet drama. This theatrical form emerged during the early Edo period, around 1600, when puppetry was coupled with Jorori, a popular 15th century narrative genre. In the mid-17th century, numerous permanent commercial theatres were devoted specifically to puppet performances and kabuki, and by the mid-18th century, Ningiyo Jorori had adopted its characteristic staging style. The genre acquired its present full name, Ningiyo Jorori Bunraku, in the late 19th century. The Bunrakuza was a leading theatre of the period. The stories told in Ningo Yodorori, as this new form of puppet theatre was known at the time, derived from two principal sources. <laughs> Historical plays set in feudal times, Jidai Mono, and contemporary dramas that explored the conflict between affairs of the heart and social obligations, Siwa Mono. <laughs> The impressive puppets, which are dressed in elaborate costumes and have individualized facial expressions, are painstakingly handcrafted by master puppet makers. <laughs> The three puppeteers, who are visible to the audience, manipulate large articulated puppets on a stage behind a waist-high screen. From a projecting elevated platform, Yuka, the narrator, Tayu, recounts the action, while a musician provides accompaniment on the three-string spike lute, Shamise. The Tayu portrays all of the characters, both male and female, and assumes different voices and intonations to suit each role and situation. Although the Taiyu reads from a scripted text, there is ample room for improvisation. The three puppeteers must carefully coordinate their movements to ensure that the puppet's gestures and attitudes appear realistic. A single puppeteer style later developed into the present three puppeteer style in the 18th century, giving rise to a unique performance style seen nowhere else in the world. The main puppeteer, or omozukai, operates the body and head with his left hand and the puppet's right hand with his own right hand. The second puppeteer, or hidarizukai, matching the movements of the main puppeteer, operates the doll's left hand. The third puppeteer, or Ashizukai, operates the doll's feet with both hands. When the three puppeteers work in perfect synchronization, the puppets magically come to life. Since female dolls, as a rule, have no feet, the third puppeteer must hold the hem of the kimono and use his hands and arms to create the illusion of moving legs. <laughs> <laughs> 